we're talking about something fun today. This video is a little bit risque. I think it's really important if there are any children in the room with you that you go ahead and excuse them because we are talking about skin, but we are talking about I'm gonna let you excuse the children real quick. <laughs> hey, beautiful people. Hopefully the children left the room because what we're gonna talk about right now is after sex skin. Now, a lot of people are gonna say, why are you talking about after sex skin? What is that? It is a real thing. There's actual proof that after you have sex and you have an orgasm, your body goes into this place where it pushes all your blood to your skin and regenerates your collagen and actually makes your skin more luminous, more glowy and healthier and actually will make you younger over time. <laughs> This is actually human nature and it's really healthy for you and it is so good for your skin. Your skin is the largest organ in your body. It needs the blood and that is something that's gonna help kind of rejuvenate that blood and that collagen. I think a lot of people are afraid to talk about these things. This is not something you should ever be ashamed of. While I encourage everyone out there to go and have as many orgasms as possible, we've got shit to do. So I'm gonna teach you guys right now how to get after sex orgasm skin. So we're gonna do this with makeup. So as much as you can, you know, make sure that you do that and you take care of yourself and you have beautiful skin, we're gonna show you how to do it with some cosmetics. We're gonna go ahead and start first by hydrating the skin. I went ahead and already hydrated my skin. I used the Philoderm from Ambriolis. It's one of my favorite moisturizers in the entire world. I placed that on my skin and now I'm gonna go ahead and start with the dewiness. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna begin with Nymph. So what using something with pearls is gonna do when you use it first, it's gonna give you this dewiness from within, but it's also going to help kind of like give you a filtered finish because the pearls kind of diffuse everything. So I'm gonna give this a nice shake. And I'm gonna give it a nice squirt. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it with a dense brush all over the face. So you can see immediately my skin looks really nice and shimmery. So I'm putting this all over my skin and I'm blending everything onto my face. Blending it, blending, blending. Now that you got the glow, of course you wanna make it look a little more natural and we're gonna cover this up. So by adding the pearls underneath the foundation, you're gonna have a little bit of a luminous foundation. And that's just, that's beautiful. That's exactly what you want. This is a very matte, kind of satiny matte foundation. It looks like skin ultimately. So when you put a matte foundation on top of a pearl, it looks beautiful this is a complexion kind of you know routine that i've been using for a little while and i've noticed such a difference in my skin but you can ultimately you know mix and match different product i'm going to use two squirts of faux filter like a squirt and a half and i'm going to go ahead and start applying this onto the skin i'm gonna go right on top of the shimmer so you can see immediately i have like this dewiness to my skin I mean, that's so pretty on its own. One of the problems with all of these like beautiful yoga skin, all these tutorials that we've seen out there is they're so beautiful. There's yoga skin, there's glass skin. They're all so gorgeous, but they don't last. So if you want like dewy skin that lasts, like this is the way to do it. And you can see I got some shimmeriness. I got some dewiness and I got this evenness. So this is exactly where we wanna be right now. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start with contouring my face as well. Another very interesting fact about orgasms, well, first of all, they're free, but they also are super healthy for you. They release so many really important hormones that are so good for you. One of the things that it releases is oxytocin, which basically helps you lower your cortisol levels. It also improves collagen production. It decreases inflammation. It's so good for you. It's so beautifying. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just using a cream contour and I'm going right where I normally would contour. So I'm gonna throw these facts in between this tutorial. This is an educational video on so many fronts. I actually started recently going on my jaw because I've been like obsessed with Asian beauty. I'm now just gonna quickly blend this contour in. So I've placed it where I need to place it and now I'm just gonna use these stippling motions to blend it in. So anytime you're applying like layers of makeup, especially as you're applying complexion, you wanna make sure you're stippling. Don't rub, stipple. This is gonna give you much more beautiful airbrushed finish. If you rub, you're basically gonna rub the makeup off and stippling, make sure that it looks nice and airbrushed and beautiful. I'm contouring my forehead a little extra. My forehead is a little big and I like bigger foreheads. I like small foreheads, I like big foreheads. It really depends on your face shape. My forehead is a little big and I kind of like it, so I'm just contouring it. So it's like, it's funny, but I like big foreheads that are contoured. I think they look really nice. You can see my skin is glowing. I already look like I had a bunch of orgasms. <laughs> I already look like I had a bunch of orgasms. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some concealer on now and I'm gonna use kind of a full coverage concealer. I like to put it on the side of the nose and then kind of go right underneath the eyes. And I don't really go that far out. I usually just blend it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and start blending it out. And again, I'm stippling. Stipple, 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 stipple. And you can see that looks like so nice underneath the eye. And I have like some smile lines here so I'm just gonna take a little bit of that concealer in there to brighten up that area. I'm now just gonna go ahead and grab a blender and I'm just blending out 
some of this concealer. Anytime you use a blender, it's gonna give you the most natural finish. The rules for foundation and concealers and applying them, hands will give you the most full coverage, brushes will give you the medium coverage, and then a sponge will give you the most natural coverage. You always want your concealer a little bit more natural and less cakey. So I'm gonna use a blender to kind of blend it out. And I've already went ahead and apply it, so I'm blending it now. Most foundation routines that are for like, you know, glass skin, dewy skin, yoga skin, they're going to stop about here. They're actually gonna ask you to put more oil on, which is fine, I love those tutorials, but the problem is if you are somebody like me who's going a million miles per hour, you don't have time to touch up your makeup and by noon your makeup is gonna be a hot mess. It's gonna be melting off your face. So we don't want that. We want this makeup to be perfect, flawless, last you through your day, last you through a few orgasms, hell, last you to next morning if that's what, you, that's what you're what you down with. But I'm gonna show you guys right now how to set it. I'm using Easy Bake, and I'm just applying a little bit of Easy Bake underneath the eye right now. And I know this looks like a lot. My little bit might be different from yours. Use this much. Before you do this, it's really important to make sure that your sponge is the right type of wetness. <laughs> Anyways, it's really important that your sponge is completely damp. I like to put it in a towel or a napkin, completely squeeze everything out. Oh, my nails are color changing. Bonus, I did not know that. Look at that, I'm warm. This video got me hot. And so I like to basically make sure that I squeeze all the water out and you know, this is like really nice and it's in a good place right now. So if you have any water on the sponge and you put the powder on, it's gonna stick in those areas. We wanna make sure it's completely dry, but damp. That makes sense. So now I'm taking um, a little bit more powder and I'm just putting it around my chin here. And then whatever's left, I'm gonna go ahead and place it on my face. And it's like, oh my God, Huda, you spent so much time making your skin all glowy and luminous and now you're mattifying the hell out of it. I'm gonna show you guys really quickly why we're doing this. I'm gonna grab a little bit of bronzer and I'm just gonna go ahead and start working that into my cheeks here. I'm gonna basically kind of warm up this contour side amount. Now you can see we have a little bit of bronzer on there too. What we need to do too is add a nice flush. After you get an orgasm as well, your body tends to flush a little bit. So you get a little bit of flush in your cheeks, a little flush all over, a little bit of flush on your lips. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the cheeks. So we're gonna grab a really nice blush and I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly mix all these colors. And I'm gonna start first by putting it on the apples of the cheek here. I'm really flushing the face. I wanna get those flushed cheeks. I wanna get that, you know, like really sexy flushed effect. And I'm gonna put it a little strong and then we'll lighten it up a little bit. And so I'm going first on the cheeks and then I'm gonna go along the contour because I really wanna make it look like I'm flushed properly. And I'm gonna go along the nose even though I haven't contoured it just yet. And you can see I'm pretty heavy on the cheeks but that's because we are going to lighten it up in just a minute. I'm just gonna take whatever's left on the brush and go kind of like along the cheeks here too. You need to be really careful with the placement of brush because if it's not done correctly, it can actually make your contour look a little bit more extended and it can cause depression in the face. So you wanna be really careful with the intensity of the blush and also where you place it, that's very important. So now we have a lot of this, like, you know, this flush going on, this contour going on. We're now going to set everything in place and we're going to make sure that it is dewy AF. So I'm gonna grab some more Nymph. You can use whatever, you know, gel or cream or whatever type of highlighter you wanna use. I'm gonna grab the end of my blender and I'm gonna use Rusting Boss Face. Now this is kind of a must because this is how you keep your makeup in place all day. I think there are also some setting sprays out there that are pretty good as well, but this one is like, this is like the goat on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I am just stabbing on the back of my arm and I'm going to now just set all of my work in place. I personally don't like apply, applying the setting spray to the face because sometimes I just feel like it can be like a little not controlled when you just spray your face and I feel like it gets in my hair and everywhere. I like to apply it on the back of a blender and then apply it onto the face. And I just feel when I mix it with shimmer, it just does something to the skin that is like nothing else. It literally makes your face look unreal. I just was in Korea and I left my resting boss face when I traveled and my makeup just did not look good. It didn't look good at all. This basically, when you do this process of mixing the Resting Boss Face on the blender with the shimmer, it melts the makeup into your skin. And then it basically makes everything look like one thing, like one just perfect skin. It doesn't look like a cake face. It doesn't make you look like you're wearing multiple layers of makeup. It just looks like skin. And that's exactly what we want with this. It needs to look really nice and natural. And the Resting Boss Face like does that. We want glowy, dewy, sexy skin. That's what we're doing here. And I'm kind of just taking that all over the skin. So you can see I'm going all over now. You can see that blush kind of faded a little bit. We'll top that up a little bit. But I got a lot of dewiness now. So now I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna let that set a little bit. I'm just gonna highlight a little bit. This is not necessary because your face should be popping by now. I'm gonna do a little bit in some places. 
I'm just gonna quickly line my lips and I'm just applying it on the lip. I'm gonna just add a little bit of shimmer to the lips too because you know what, I'm an unnecessary person. Just joking. All right, and as you can see, this is the final look. My skin is really glowy, really dewy. You can adjust this how you want. But the most important thing is that this is a dewy makeup that's gonna last all day and all night long and literally through anything. It's glow. There have been so many products out there that describe after sex and orgasms and all these things, and they do that for a reason. So hopefully, this tutorial will show you guys how you guys can get that beautiful, sexy, glowy skin. And hopefully you guys learn some things about, um, you know, about how important it is to take care of yourself. So I'm gonna give you guys homework in this video. I don't normally give homework, but homework for you guys is orgasm at night and after sex skin in the day. So I love you guys so much. We'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.